Welcome to today's game between Alamo City All-Stars and the HBCU Movement. My name is Jeff Michael, your host for the day. My co-host today is the general manager of HBCU Movement, Mr. Thomas Williams, Jr. What's up, T? Uh, thanks for the intro, Jeff. Oh, yeah. How are you doing today, man? Well, I'm doing all right. Look, we get to watch a little basketball, talk a little sports. Can't complain too much, right? No, nope, not at all. Not at all. We've got an exciting matchup between... Two good teams here. Uh, Alamo City comes in ranked number 12 in the country here in the ABA. 12th in the country? Good. And I, I'm a, there's 100 plus teams here in the ABA? Am I correct? Yes, sir. That's so they're number 12. We got a high-flying team that gets up and down the court here. Here we go. We started off. Santa Shivers has the ball. Red and green for the HBCU movement. Moving from left to right. Oh, what a rebound. Out of bounds. The ball goes over to Alamo City All-Star. 0-0 zero, zero, your scores we start out. Throughout the game, Thomas will be giving us information about the movement to let our viewers know more about this history-making basketball team. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's correct. And uh, one of the first things I want to bring attention to, if uh, you're watching this broadcast today, you can see the uh, basketball. It is our own creation. Oh, nice. This is a home game for us. We're going to have a home game for these our own basketball. And a red game for you is the original ABA basketball. The red, white, blue. The one that has the I like it. I like it. Brandon Thompson, number 35, start, gets the scoring going for the Alamo City All-Stars, 2-0. Oh, ball loose underneath. Got to get control of that. Got to get control of it. Here come the Alamo City All-Stars. Brandon Thompson again. Left hand. 4-0. Jordan Cano. Right there, right there, right there. Here come the HBCU movement. Ruben from our left to, to the right. Up steel. Got to hold on to the ball. Yeah, movement plays a little sloppy right now. Sure. 
Still missed opportunity. Cano on the shot. Oh, wait. Wide open. Wide open. Oh, in and out. In and out. Here come the HBCU movement. Got to get a little better organized here. What do you see in early on uh, from the HBCU movement? Can't do that? Basketball, right? Yeah. That's three straight baskets for uh, Jordy Cano. Oh, I'm sorry. That's Jordy Cano this time, number 15. 6-0 for the Alamo City All-Stars. Harrison, first foul of the game. It's on the Alamo City All-Stars. Number 77, Joe Jackson. 77. First foul of the game, first foul on Joe Jackson. First team foul. 6-0 still your score here in the early going in the first quarter. 9.33 left on the clock. HBCU with the ball. Harrison throws it in to Shivers. Shivers, uh, is he the number one scorer on the team? No, actually our number one scorer is number three. Uh, that's going to be James Harrison. James Harrison the second, got gotcha. you. All right. Oh, rebound for the All-Stars. They got a fast break going. Nobody's got to pull back. Nobody following. Oh, uh, wide open. Number 11. That's four. That's four baskets. Wake up. Three minutes gone by in the first quarter. 8 0. Alamo City All Star. Movement needs a basket right here. Way downtown. Woo! In and out. Rebound by Joe Jackson for the Alamo City All Stars. Heading back. He's going to take it by himself. Woo! What a rejection. Big Lee Howard. Oh, good pass. Here it is. Fast break. Oh, you got to score there. you got to score there. You cannot afford to turn over. Yep. Good shot. Oh, in and out. In and out. Now we're running. Movement on the run. they got to get a basket. Lewis to Shivers. Going on four minutes for the HBCU with uh, no baskets yet. Working down low. You got the mismatch. Yep, there it is. Foul call. Foul on number 12, Jamal Muhammad for the Alamo City All Stars. They're going to get a basket here, huh? You would think? Yeah, we got to stop the bleeding right gotcha. here, man. Yes, sir. Stop the bleeding. Well, they had that mismatch there, and that's why they got the foul. So try to do it again. Harrison with the ball, driving to the bucket. Good block. Oh, wide open layer. Uh oh. Oh. Take it all the way. Wide open three. Boom. Oh, in and out. Trying to get the rebound. Alamo City All Stars. HBCU starting cold. 0 for 6 from the floor. Oh, number 5. That's number 12, Lee Howard. Number 77, Joe Jackson going out, and he'll go to the line for two. This is the uh, ABA. In the ABA, we have some uh, original rules that makes the game a little bit more exciting. You've got seven seconds to get the ball over half court. If the ball is stolen in the back court, that initiates our 3D rule, which means that if you score after a steal in the back court, you get an extra point. So a two pointer becomes a three, three becomes four. Uh, the seven seconds pushes the pace. It makes for a fast paced game, makes it a little bit more exciting. And with the 3D rule, He's never really out of the game. Got a timeout right now on the floor. We appreciate that, Mr. Williams. And uh, we'll be right back. I'm Jeff Michael. This is Thomas Williams. Next to me, we'll be right back. Nice. Who are the, uh, some of the players we should be looking out for today? I know uh, you had mentioned the leading scorer already. Is, uh, what is it? Number three, James Harrison. Is uh, also, uh, number 15, Sam Shivers, our point guard. Those are our uh, uh, right now. Uh, actually, our leading rebounder is our bench right now. Big number of game breaks. We should Eight to zero as we come out of the timeout. Seven thirty-four uh, left in the first quarter. Number seventy-seven, Joe Jackson, at the line for the. Misses the front end. Misses the front end. 
Fit Alamo City All Star. Sorry, we got caught up. We got caught up watching. <laughs> Second shot of uh, the two shots on the free throw. 9 0 now. Alamo City All Stars, full court press. They got to get going. They got to get moving. There we go. Oh, wide open. Got to gotta hit that. Uh, 0 for 6 or 7 to start the game. Is this good defense or bad offense? <laughs> you know I'm going to be a bit biased, man. I'll be a little bit biased, but I have to say good defense. <laughs> Alabama City All-Stars start the game on an 11-0 run. HBCU's got to get something going. Here we go again. Wide open. You got big man down low. Here goes a three. Short. Short. Definitely. Oh, they're pushing it. Oh, good rebound. Go. Fast break. Fast break. There we go. First points coming for HBCU. Alamo City All-Stars moving from right to left, leading the game 11-2. Just about halfway through the first quarter. Going in a pick and roll up top. Moving the ball around pretty well. Woo! Oh, oh, oh. Timeout takes a hard fall. Trying to figure out what happened. Still down on the court. Number 12. Number 12. Big fellow Lee Howard still Lee down Howard. on the court. Looks like he may have hit his head. That's that number 28 is about to check in. Gabriel Drayton. Hey, 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 hey. Come on back. Come on back. I'm not sure if there was a foul on the play or, or what was going on. It was a contested shot up, uh, up at the basket. Still down on the floor. We'll take a break for a second. It looks like it's HBCU's ball. Full court press coming for the Alamo City All-Stars. Floor's a little wet. They're going to try to dry it off. Happily and sterilized. The ABA uh, doesn't play, right? No. <laughs> That's no, a hard pass here in the ABA. <laughs> So, uh, right, right now, it's an open court game. Guys, you know, the guys play. It looks like this is going to be a battle. It HBCU down 2-13 to 13 as they inbound the ball. Alamo City with another full court press. They're really trying to jump out. Double team wide open in the middle. Can't get it to fall. Second shot, second. Oh, third attempt. There we go. Like I said, he's our leading rebounder. Well, he just got three points out there. Little stack hadn't going on, man. Little stack. He got three. Yeah, there you go. Tipped it to himself a couple of times, but got it to go. Four to thirteen now. HBCU down. Wide open three pointer. Boom! Bucket. Austin City limits it to three. Sixteen to five now. Here comes Harrison down the floor, left to right. Oh, slips on the floor. Gets it up. Oh, Lewis with the big dunk. Baseline drive. Great dunk. Up, oh, other floor wide open. Got to get back. Got to get back. 18 to 6 now. HBCU trying to answer. One dunk. Didn't get back on defense. They let a layup go down. Shivers has the ball, top of the key. He's gonna have to shoot. Got to shoot. Launches a three. Oh. Rebound number seventy-seven, Joe Jackson for the Austin City. Uh, Alamo City, not Austin City. Timeout on the floor. What's that number one coming in? Set him up. Maurice Redmond. Yes, sir. Maurice Redmond been with the team since day one? No, he's a new addition to the team. Free gotcha. agent signing. Gotcha. Good poke there by Mr. Drayton. Out of bounds on the movement. Well. Keep up. Keep up. Clock's running. Keep up. 
Another substitution, Taylor coming in, number 23, Taylor for HBCU. Try to uh, get some spark in this offense. 6-18 to 18 right now, the Alamo City All-Stars in the lead. Good drive, kicks out. 77 with the shot. Off shot. Up, stepped on the baseline. HBCU basketball. We gotta get, we gotta get a four oh six oh run going here pretty soon. Get back in this ball game. Well, we're getting where we need on the history. Right 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 this is where the creativity that you see in the NBA actually started. Oh man, African Americans were actually able to play, play professional basketball and uh, you know use the creativity and advance the game in ways that are now just the norm in the NBA style. So ABA merged with the NBA and became the game that we're accustomed to seeing today. Did I just age you? I didn't mean to. You know, but look, I was just reading what I was I was giving, so I didn't mean to age you on the ABA, but you know, thank we appreciate the insight for sure. No, you can't age me. Only time can do that. Uh, there you go. Hey, defense by HBC. And we still have yet to uh, enact our first three D rule. Yeah, so what's the deal with the three D rule for those that may not understand it? Because this is the first that I've been introduced to it. Okay, so it's a, a rule that's original to the ABA. Um, if you get a steal in the backcourt, a turnover in the backcourt, then the next basket that's scored by your team if, uh, gets an extra point. If you steal and score, you get an extra point. So a two becomes three, three becomes four. Yeah, a lot of high-scoring games, a lot of action. Well, that's why you see the scores, you know, in the ABA, 160, 120. It's a more fast-paced, exciting game. We've seen games where, you know, a team has been down nine with 30 seconds and been able to enact that 3D and come back and actually win the game. So gotcha. you're really never out of it. Gotcha. HBCU missed again. Man, bad shooting quarter for HBCU. Luckily, not that great of a shooting quarter for Alamo City All-Stars All -Stars either. Shivers trying to create. Down the middle. There we go. 8 to 18 now. Got to get it under 10. Got to get it under 10 in the first. Two minutes left. Should we start a chant for defense? defense. <laughs> no. I, again, I'm attempting not to be biased. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to be a professional here. Taylor, wide open layup. Oh, miss it. Oh. Oh. About that. Look, we're not going to reward you <laughs> with a, with a oh, bucket ball from Mr. Layup. <laughs> I like it. I like it. In the Trying to get substitutions in. Here we go. Alamo City All Stars bringing up the ball with the lead 18 to 8. I'm Jeff Michael, joined by uh, Thomas Williams, general manager of the HB. CU movement. Oh. All right. They decided to trust me by myself, so here we go. Deep three from Alamo City. It's off. Taylor with the rebound. Oh, and a steal. And that's our 3D rule. And there it is. Uh, 3D rule just happened. So turnover in the backcourt with a bucket made turns into a three point play. They got to be more aggressive. HBCU has to be more aggressive. Looking like they, uh, they may have gone out last night in Houston, maybe. Joined James Harden or something. One of the clubs. Got to pick it up after the first quarter. 57 seconds left down, 8-21. to 21. HBCU with the ball. Welcome into the ABA broadcast of the HBCU movement versus the Alamo City All-Stars game. I'm Jeff Michael. Good box out by Alamo City. Oh, lost the ball. Loose ball. Foul on, who is that, Donovan Jack? First foul on Donovan Jack for Alamo City. Well, fortunately, Alamo City is enlightened. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I mean, it could be worse. It could be worse. You'd like to see him try to get it under 10. There's a deep three. Off. Oh. Still 8 to 21. 26 seconds left. Shot clock on. 15 seconds. I'm not sure if we didn't leave a couple of jumpers in New Orleans, man. 
Yeah, yeah. It looks like, you know, scoring 130 in New Orleans. 14 seconds on the clock. Oh, well, they're letting them play. No foul call. Wow. The light is on, so if there's a basket score, there will be an extra point. How long does the 3D light stay on? Uh, until, until the possession changes. First quarter. First quarter comes to an end and not fast enough for the HBCU movement. Shoot maybe 15% from the floor. They are down 8 to 21 to the Alamo City All Stars. End of the first, what do you think? 15% is generous. <laughs> <laughs> but, look, look, this is a positive. You can only go up from here, right? So. And we gotta get better shots and get back on defense, play defense, turn that to our offense, man. We gotta pick it up a lot. All right, so this is gonna it looks like it's gonna be a high scoring game. What does the movement have to do to keep the pace of this game? Well, we just gotta be smart with the ball. Keep our turnovers down, get up the floor, and make make easy shots. Who have been the most? Imp who have you been most impressed with in this first quarter? Well, first quarter right now, I'm most, most impressed with uh, K. Lou. He got a couple of easy shots, but that's about it right now. Everybody else, we looking kind of bad. All right. Well, anyways, either way it goes, congratulations. We're gonna walk away with this win, and I'll talk to you soon at the end of the end of the game. All right. Thank you. Here we go. Start of the second quarter. The Alamo City All Stars up twenty-one to eight. Trying to run the offense up at the top of the top of the key. Kick out. So in the ABA, are we using NBA? Just for the viewers out there that don't know, and used to the other rules. You got a four on five now. Three point and boom! That gets the scoring started. <laughs> His uh, older brother is our assistant coach, Leonard Taylor. So we're running a family affair here with HBCU. Both of them attended uh, the deep Jarvis Christian College. Looks like HBCU is coming out with a little bit more fire this quarter. Uh, no, no. Yep, a little turnover. 11 to 21 now. I like it. I like it. Can't keep doing what you were doing in the first quarter. Like I said, you can only go up from there, right? <laughs> Let's go, HBCU. Get some points on the board. Yeah, you should have put a little, uh, a little speed on that. We got a 3D opportunity here on the turnover. Oh. Foul on number eight, Nicholas Lance. That will send Donovan Jack to the line shooting two. So does that take it off now too? That takes the, uh, okay. What's it, what's it called again? The 3D. The 3D. So the 3D is off now. Yes. Oh, that's right. Oh, so, foul shoots three. so we have, okay, okay. Gotcha. The 3D light is taken off when he gets an extra free throw. Because it was on because when he committed the foul. Gotcha. All right. Look, we're all learning here today. It's a, so this is the third game for you guys, right? All right. Okay. One and one. This is game number three. Okay. So the 3D light will stay on. How many games a season do you have? Uh, this year we have 20. 20 games scheduled. All right. Uh, it looks like... It looks like the gentleman that was injured early, Leandre Howard, is now uh, being tended to on the other side of the court. Uh, he may not return. We'll let you know if he does. Uh, laceration on the forehead, looks like. Yeah, it looks like a little cut over the eye. Um, I think maybe he's got a little ice on the wrist. Pick up. Pick up. Pick up. All three points. That full court press is doing a number on HBCU right now. Oh, nice pass. Nice dunk. 
Woo! There you go. Oh, man. Can you place bets on these games? <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't think we got the money right now. Man. It's not on there? All right. Shot. Nice shot. Nice shot, Jordan. Uh, Jordan can't. Cano. Jordan Cano. Yeah, he is. Oh, wide open underneath. There we go. <laughs> This is the type of scoring that you're accustomed to now in the NBA. Yes, sir. That, just, just HBCU in general, scoring is what we're Oh, yeah. Okay. Right now. Can know with the miss. Oh, it's deep. Push. Oh, man. How did it wide open? There you go, Crop. All stars are back on D. I'd like to approach. Uh, oh, you got to hit Short that. shot. Got to have that one. Yep. Oh, oh good turnover. Good turnover, HBCU. Oh, man, they are letting them play. Bad attack. Ah. Couldn't get it. But he will shoot two. Number one, Maurice Redman. Yes, sir. For HBCU, he'll shoot two. 15 to 26, down by 11. Can finally cut it under 10 if he makes both of these. Yeah, we got to have these. Got to have them. So no, ga no gambling on this. No money line, no minus, no plus minus. No. Oh, you have to go see your own bookie for that one. <laughs> but look, I tell you what, if, if there were lines for it, uh, it'd be a really popular game. Uh, with the high score. Yeah, that's you know, what I'm saying. Us being the first year team playing against a more established team that's right, you know, somebody might be willing to take a little. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll say it would be, uh, I, yeah, this would be, uh, the money line would be plus 180 maybe. <laughs> <laughs> For the Alabama City All Stars, or I mean for HBCU, uh, missed opportunity there. Yeah, good, good rebound by uh, offensive rebound. Oh, oh, oh! They're gonna call a reach in. They're gonna call a reach on Maurice Redmond. That's so far. We yeah, call that okay. one up. <laughs> got kind of light by this game standards. <laughs> you gotta get people knocked out with lacerations. No foul. <laughs> gotta let that, yeah, gotta let that one go. Yeah, let that one go. <laughs> I'm against the street rule basketball, basketball, no blood, no foul. We literally drew blood. <laughs> definitely, definitely. And that's a foul. Number eight, Nicholas Lance. Going to the line, shooting two now, number uh, seven. Seven. Which is a high number. Jackson, 77. Well, that's the year he was born, so I'm pretty sure he's not born in 77 playing in the ABA. I mean, you could, right? I mean, There's no age limit. No, I mean, you could. And I, I was born in 76, so it looks like we're dribbling at the same. <laughs> yeah, a couple of the same club. There we go. He misses the front end of the one and one, uh, the uh, the two free throws, so he'll shoot his second one right now. And a little more salt and pepper in the beard. There you go. There you go. And he makes a second. I haven't, haven't gone to Walmart yet and bought the color. It's coming, though. It's coming. Oh, man, you should stick with the gun. I see how it works out. Kevin Lewis Jr. in the game now for HBCU. Oh, oh. Nice little crossover. Left-hand layup. Good. Oh. <laughs> The lead is under 10, 18 to 27. Good defense there by the movement on the trap. Oh, oh uh, he should have gone after that. I agree. Jackson with the shot. Oh, they let that go. He's wide open underneath. Here comes Lance. Nice oh, wow. the end one. Foul on number 15. Jordan Cano, yep. I think that's number two on Cano. Yeah. Uh, he's their leading scorer. Tavon Lundy checking in. And Jamal Muhammad both checking in for the Alamo City All Stars. Oh, yeah. Ian Eberhardt. Is that how you say it? Is Eberhardt. It Eber Eberhardt yes, checking sir. in for HBCU along with James Harrison, the second. Yeah, Ian's actually our youngest player. He's straight out of high school. Young Good for him. There you go. From Needle and Touch, we're real happy to have him. Really excited about the young man. The lefty converts to free throw. Lance, and it's a six-point game. HBCU making a comeback here in the second quarter, twenty-one to twenty-seven. Alamo City still still with the lead. Balls up top, and that kid, it looks like he can play. Thank you. Uh, good switch. Nice fake, good nice switch. Fake. HBCU nice with the rebound. 
Nice kick out. Nice layup. Four point game now. 23 to 27. HBCU. And I believe a 7 0 run at the moment. Yes, sir. Now we're playing basketball. Now we're playing basketball. We got ball. Good defense. Wow, nice shot. Better shot. Good defense, better shot. Nothing you can do. Tavon Lundy with a nice baseline for the Alabama City All-Stars. So it looks like HBCU has kind of gotten these guys out of this full part. Well, yeah, so I see that the, the press is not on right now. What a shot by Harrison. <laughs> The shooter has to do is see one or two of them go down. Oh, oh, I don't know where the foul was, but it was called. And number 11, Tavion Lundy will go to the line for the Alamo City All-Stars. Who's the foul on? Number 11? Number 11. Oh, you were just talking good about it. Look what he did. Look what happened. I don't know if you saw it, but uh, <laughs> the ghost foul. Yeah, I, I, I believe so. I believe so. He's got four more. He's got four more. We'll take a break. It's 25 to 29 right now. Alamo City All-Stars up. To get back in this game, they were down 13 at one point. Yeah, we turned it up on the defense again. I'm, I'm liking what the guys are doing defensively right now. Very quiet in here now. <laughs> <laughs> Can we make noise during the uh, free throw? Tavion Lundy, front end of the one and one. Boom! First one, first one goes in. Thirty to twenty-five. Shot number two. And the second one is good. And the full court press is back. Oh, nice little beat. Oh, uh, he had him wide open now. Nah, that's okay. We'll take it. I don't like Nice pick and roll. Got to make it. Got to make it. Alamo City. Good, Good D. Yeah. Good D. The high school kid is coming about. Wide open. Redmond with the shot. Off shot. Only one three-pointer so far for HBCU. Still only down by six. Now down by eight. He's very active. That guy can play. Oh, nice move. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. There you go. Nice. What a follow. Great follow by Rodney Harmon. <laughs> Wow, great move. Tavion Lundy. Over two HBCU players. Good move. Got to give credit where credit's due. Somebody, uh, somebody's open. There was, they was double teamed down low. Threw it away. Way to get back on deep. Good. It's four on five right now. Here comes Jackson. Oh, oh! Nice opportunity there. On yep. The field. Seems like we've said we've said that quite a few times. There it is. Here comes a dunk. Oh! And Harmon with the big. Maybe that'll get him going. Four point, six point game. Time out. Coach is not happy. So nice little throw down by Rocky yeah. Harmon. That's more of Alamo City playing than I would say. Yeah. Well, I did see Joe Jackson kind of laboring up and down the floor. I don't know if he's tired or what was going on, but if they're running that press that press defense off of the, on the inbounds play from HBCU, it will wear down your players if you don't have the conditioning. Yeah. So that's why it's a four quarter game, man. Yeah. The first quarter they were running it to perfection. It looks like HBCU now, and the second quarter has come out, dealt with it, and climbed back in this ball game, only down by six twenty nine to thirty five. Well, uh, you know, the sign of a team, any good team, is that you can still yeah, win so in that first second chance. Yeah, so this is a 60 second time. So, cool this one. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. I think in the over-under in the second half, be about 65 points. I'll take the over. <laughs> we'll see where we can go from there. <laughs> yeah. See if we can get a line on the Where are we? Yeah. Somebody will take it, right? It's 2023. Hey, man. Guys are better on anything. 
Here we go, Alamo City All-Stars coming from right to left with the 35-29 lead. Pretty active. Trying to run the pick and roll. Shot top of the key. Good rebound. Good rebound by Harmon. Man, Harmon's active right now. Yeah, yeah. I like his energy. Shot by Harrison. Wide open three. Top of the key. Nah. He's off. That would have been a big one. Yeah, man. I think one for eight or one for nine right now. For makes me see ass. Woo! Great. Go by Canoe. And that kid, maybe on Lundy, he's going to play a good assist. Here comes the press again. They broke it. Somebody's open. Oh, Alba Hart with the big three. Like Austin making an impact right now. I like it. Oh, you got to get. Oh, he missed it. London with the miss. They got a chance. They got a chance. You got to make it here. Keep the run going. Oh, nice, nice move by Kevin Lewis Jr. Kevin Lewis. Be big. You got an opportunity to cut the lead. Good defense by Everhart. Oh, great great pass. Uh, Everhart and London are going at it. Yeah, they are. I like it. Yeah, I like it. It's good energy. There goes Everhart. You got a wide open lane. Oh, you got to make that. You got to make that. That's a, sell it. He tried to do the LeBron, did not work. We're going back the other way. Push it, Sam. Here comes, here comes the coach out of Thomas. Thomas. <laughs> if he starts coaching on the mic, guys, don't worry about it. It's just been, oh, good shot by Shivers. It works, man. It works. Hey, that's it. 3.40 game, 39-36. Three minutes to go. They're going at it. Oh, what a gift. What a gift. Offensive rebound. Easy layup for Lundy again. Timeout. HBCU. Five-point game. Yeah, we got a battle of the 11s with Everhart and Lundy, man. They're going at it pretty good. I like it. I like it. Trying to break the full court press. Loses the ball. Tied up. Jump ball. Jump ball. Jump ball. Man, that press is really working. In the NBA, we do jump the ball on every jump ball opportunity. There you go. Reset the shot clock. Not only a coach, but also the rules expert, Thomas Williams, and an analyst. I love this. Hey, Jack of all trades, master yeah. of well, We'll try to get that gambling thing in there one day. You know you're on with that one, buddy. I had too many kids. Dude. There you go, yeah. We ain't trying to lose too much. Hey, Rev. Jump ball between Maurice Redman and Tavion Lundy. Redman's got a good six inches on him. It should be an easy one. There it is. Oh, tipped it right to Mr. Joe Jackson. Jackson in the middle. Five nice left hand layup by Antoine. Need to make a nice little run here. It's a seven point game now. After being down by 13. Three pointer. Off shot. Oh, good great rebound great. by Redmond. Uh, got a block shot. Still HBCU ball. Take the shot clock back down to 22. <laughs> It was wide open. You got to make that. You got to make that. I'll put with the miss. Good block by Corey Alpha. He tried it one too many times, Mr. Lundy. Oh, here we go. Nice lay out by Shiver. Here comes Lundy again. We're in the middle under two minutes left. HBCU, 38. Joe Jackson with the fake, top of the key. Little drive. No shot. 
the floor. Oh. Foul. Wow. Wow. On Corey Alpha. I don't know about that. They're blowing the whistle because they feel like there hasn't been enough, I guess. There's been way worse fouls. Fox! I think we might have to redefine what a foul is for this particular game, man. It's a right bit questionable at best, right? Now. That was a bad one. But that's go. number two, second bad call, but you know, look, we're not going to jump all over the rest. We got a tough job. Yeah. Tough job. In every sport, we see it all the time. Look at the NFL right now. They get handed. Joe Jackson, top of the key. No basket, shot clock violation. HBCU movement ball. Five point game. One minute, 24 seconds left. Thomas Williams has been a great first half so far, will you? Yeah, I'd say so. Well, it's been a great second quarter. <laughs> great second quarter for the HBC movement. Loses the ball. Wait, wait, wait. We got a foul? That was definitely a bailout. Was that a makeup call? Oh, he's right here. <laughs> Lewis Jr. at the line for two. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. <laughs> you got to do what you got to do around here. It's a long game. Yeah. We still got two more quarters to go. Great shot by Lewis. Uh, first end of the two shots goes down. One more to go. I don't think anybody's in foul trouble at this point. There hasn't been a whole lot of fouls. Misses the second one. Great rebound by HBCU. Chance to pull. Got a chance to pull it in too. All right, Ian. Your team is shorthanded. And they need you to play some big minutes today. What do you feel like the team and yourself need to make sure that you leave here with the big points? Great. Um, honestly, just bring on the W. I just need to play really big defense. D three, nothing bring that but Matt energy. Joe Jackson. Just keep that team Pushes on the way. We're down. Just keep it going. Here comes HBCU. Forty seconds. Okay, okay. so yeah. Coach Williams also told us that right. you are no, a no, great no. shooter for ba of basketball. <laughs> oh, <look at laughs> what else do you feel like you can bring to the team? Like I said, energy, energy, and defense. Gotta get the ball. Also, get the ball. just penetrate, penetrate and kick, and also find my teammates. Right. Wow. So wow. definitely that energy. Uh, we see it on the floor. <laughs> Why did you what choose number eleven? What's behind the number of choice? Ten um, seconds left. My dad used to watch it. Forty-one. On the internet somewhere, one on one, and I thought that would stick with me really well. Seven so that's seconds. That's a big motivation. Hey, to see you with number. the ball. They got somebody All right, well, thank you so much, and congratulations on how everything is going today. Thank Order, you. 43 to 48. Here's a heave. Oh, we're saying it's a foul. Hold on. There's some, there's some confusion whether there's a foul on the last shot of the half or not. We'll see what happens for the second half. Yeah, good job, uh, HBCU, pulling back from down 13 points. Now five-point game at the end of the first half. We'll see you in the second half. I'm 15 years old. What is the funniest thing the best play players on the team have made you do? Hmm. Probably uh, a whole bunch of rookie stuff, like carry all the, the luggage or bags. Man, it's terrible. Safety packing a whole bunch of stuff. I don't even know why they need all that stuff. But yeah, probably that. They're scoring you in. That's what you're saying. <laughs> all right. Thank you. All right, guys. This is the halftime mark. Um, we are at the halftime mark. How do you think that you and your team have played the first half? Um, in the first quarter, came out very slow. But in the second quarter, we've been uh, picking up the energy and intensity on the defensive end, and that's what allowed us to get buckets on the offensive end and just transition, uh, bring the energy. All right, Coach, how do you think that you guys did in the first half? Well, we started out really, really slow, and uh, we just got to pick it up. Like, the second quarter was much better. Uh, we pick it up. Like, the second quarter, we do, a, we do real good this game. So, we pick it up, keep that same intensity that we ended the half with, we bring that in the second half. We should win this game. All right, perfect. So, uh, what do you and the team have to do in the second half to win the game? 
capitalize. Capitalize off their missed shots and their turnovers. That's really all I had to say. Coach, what about you? Yeah, take care of the ball and um, take advantage of, they, of the soft press they're doing. That'll get us a lot of easy buckets, and we'll be able to set our defense. All right, thank you, guys. All right, Mr. James. This is the movement first home game of the season in Houston. After the home game in New Orleans last weekend, congratulations on that, by the way. How do uh, how does it feel to play in front of the home crowd today? Oh, it feels good being back home. I mean, you know, New Orleans was cool, but we didn't have our whole fan base. And now here we have our whole fan base, and we're looking to get this win so we can send them home uh, with a W. All right, all right. You guys are a little short-handed tonight with only 10 players in uniform. As a leader, what do you have to do to make sure that you guys stay competitive in the game? Oh, man, it's just keeping our heads. You know, even though we're short some men, we got to keep our keep our heads. This is a good team, number 12 team, right? We're a good team. Uh, we got to keep, like I said, we got to keep our heads. I'm going to keep talking to them, keeping them motivated, and uh, hopefully come out and get this win. All right, all right. What would you say the key success is uh, to, to win the game today? Oh, uh, man, transition defense is our main thing. Uh, this team likes to get out on run and shoot. So we got to make sure we got on our closeouts, getting back on transition defense and um, executing on offense. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, Coach. Big win last weekend in New Orleans yes, yes. versus the Rush. Now you're at home at San Jack for Houston, the season opener. <laughs> what are the key victories? What is the key to victory today? Play hard defense. Uh, make sure we knock down shots and playing kind of sloppy, but we're going to pick up in the second half. I promise. Okay, okay. I'm going to keep you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold you to that promise. <laughs> I know that you, I know you did your scouting, uh, scouting report against all the All-Stars. Who are some of the guys you felt you really needed to Build a game plan for uh, number seventy-seven. Joseph Jackson been playing good. Uh, Brandon Thompson been playing good. So they got a good team, but that's the two we really want to watch out for. Okay. All right. How can the fans at home find out more about the HBCU movement and the great things that you guys are doing? Um, you go on our website, the HBCU Movement dot com, uh, Facebook, the HBCU Movement, Instagram, HBCU Movement. So we everywhere. All right. Stay tuned, HBCU movement. Have the ball going from your left to right, and here we go. All right, he got the second half. <laughs> the bias line, or <laughs> here we go. Thirty-five inside. We'll get the scoring started for the Alamo City All Stars. Brandon Thompson. I think he was silent in the first half. I don't remember him scoring. No, not much. I don't know. HBCU going from right to left. Three pointer on the way. Ooh, in and out. Good rebound. Good rebound. Here comes another three on Shivers. Yeah. You saw when it was released, too. Uh, here comes Alabama City. It's real easy to see with this pressure basketball that we play with. Yeah. Another turnover for the Alamo City All Stars. First of the second half. One minute in, clock running, here we go. Down by seven, HBCU. No full court pressure on this one. Shivers top of the key, driving. Nice kick out, little jumper. You gotta make it, Armin. You gotta make that. Uh, that was a foul. Joe Jackson will go to the line to shoot two on a shooting foul for number 28, Gabriel Drayton. That was a foul. He bodied him. No, yeah, that was a foul. <laughs> Even in my bias. Yeah, all right, all right. Going to the line shooting two right there. This is the front end. Of the front end of the two... Two shots for the shooting foul. Second one on the way. We've decided that for sure this is not based on the year that he was born. <laughs> yeah. That is an awkward, uh, awkward jersey number. Uh, Get it up. Get it up. Get it up. 
Three second violation. Turnover by HBCU. Going the other way. Quick outlet. Number 35 here for the Alamo City. Up by eight. Good defense. Shivers up top. Another travel. Look, even in the bias. <laughs> even uh, Thomas Williams. <laughs> yeah. Another turnover. Full four press now. HPCU down by eight. Third quarter action. Left hand layup. Miss. Good offensive rebound. Take it up. Oh, nice block. That's going to be a jump ball. Jump ball on the block. Good defense. Good defense by Alamo City right there. Go, Go. And look, I don't know a whole lot about ABA because this is my first one, but I do know that you have to jump every ball. So there we go. So there we go. No possession. On the other side. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Maybe it's because you're clicking it. He says I'm supposed to hold the button. That's what he said. That wouldn't make any sense. Why didn't you clip it? All right. Well, it's gonna, it's gonna sound pretty funny if you're in and out the whole game. <laughs> I'm pretty sure at some point somebody would have said something. About it. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe you're doing it wrong. Uh, you know. We'll find out. Nice pass. Uh, Joe Jackson right in the middle. Off the inbound play. Fall asleep on the defensive side of the ball. Foul on number 11, Mr. Tate, Tavon Lundy. One of the softer fouls we've seen so far. Yeah, in the game. yeah man. I think there's already been more fouls uh, this, this yeah, quarter than there were the whole half. first half. Yeah. yeah. I think four already. Nine minutes left. Ten point game. Nice kick out, three pointer. Good, good job, good shot by Lewis Jr. from the corner on the big three. Alamo City coming back down the court with a seven point lead. Now, great pass. What a pass. No looker from Tavon Lundy. Okay. Oh, wow. Basket by Harmon. <laughs> We have a foul in the back. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Right. We'll take it. <laughs> HBCU with a seven-point ball game. Down by seven, I should say, in the third. Eight minutes left to go. Lundy with the shot. Lundy again. All shot. Rebound by Harrison. Kick out. Lewis Jr. Four on three. Four on three. He takes it himself. He takes it himself. Lewis getting active in this quarter. Fast pace down. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, a lot of steps. Shot right there and had none of his teammates down. They were good push, good out. push. Take that, Sam. Yes, sir. There it we'll is. take it. Movement on the run. Three point ball game. 55 52. Little 7 to 2 run by HBCU. Here comes Joe Jackson. Kick Try out to, to the corner. This shot. HBCU has a chance to cut the lead or tie here. Could technically tie the game ball, ball game right here with a three-pointer, which would be amazing considering they were down by 13 at one point. There's the three. All shot. No short. Foul. Foul on number 28, Gabriel Drayton. Number 22, checking into the game, Corey Oppo. Time out on the floor. Time out on the floor. Three-point ball game. Well, HBCU seems to make a little comeback. Seven twenty-five left in the third. Austin City All Stars hold a three-point advantage in a very competitive game. Now, first quarter was sort of ugly. I don't know how else to explain that. Sort of is a, is, is a huge <laughs> nice. understatement. Yes, very very nice. <laughs> it, it, nice. it was ugly. May as well say we spotted them thirteen. There you go. Yeah. There you go. But HBCU will be on defense as Alamo City works from left to right, coming down the floor with a three-point lead. Tavion Lundy with the Lundy with the ball. Man, he's been active today. Very good. Needs some good defense here. Needs some really good defense here. Three-point ball. Oh, big shot. That was a good shot. Tested. Sometimes better offense. Yeah. 
Good defense. Nothing you can do about that. He made the shot, man. Got the lane. Two points. Redmond with the basket. That was easy. Nice pick and roll. Here comes Lundy with a one on one on Shivers. Oh! Jackson Little. draws the foul and going to shoot two. Low body action there. James Harrison with the foul. Jackson's far more active in this second half than he was in the first half Definitely. on the offensive side of the ball. I think like he was laboring a little bit after the full court press, but now he's back. He'll be at the line shooting two more. He was one and one on the first time. It hits the front end. The second shot coming. And he hits two. Got them both. Extends the lead to six points. They try to double team on the full court. It means somebody's open. Nice pass. Nice layup. Two and points. two points, Alpo. I think that's Alpo's first two points. Very nice layup. Yes, it is. Reverse layup. Four point game. Wide open underneath. It was uncontested. Still doing the press. He's open. He's open. Oppo, three points. Gotta shot. hit this one. Got it. Oh, uh, comes off shot. the back. Nice rebound. Austin City All Stars head back with a six point lead, working from left to right. Joe Jackson, Jackson with the again. ball on the attack. Looking working out for good defense by Alpo. Still in the backcourt. Ah, uh, 3D. 3D opportunity. And that's a big four-point play on the 3D. Brandon Thompson hits a three with the 3D, counting four points for the All Alamo City All-Stars. Quickly, a 10-point game now. Good, good offense right there. Shivers with a nice little floater. Still only eight points. Yep. Need a stop right here. And one. And one. Alamo City All Stars racking up these extra points. So go to the line for the end one. And just like that, the lead's back up to 10. We've seen this Alamo City team really take advantage of that 3D when the opportunity comes. It's an experienced team, and they're used to playing this style of basketball, man. HBCU coming up the court now. Nine point game. Oh, sorry, 11 point game. Three pointer. In and out for HBCU. Joe Jackson with the rebound. They can, they can extend the lead to 13 or 14 here. Wide open on the baseline. 13 point game. 13 point game. Here comes HBCU. Shivers. Nice pass. Shivers to Alpo. Nice pass. You got to step it up on the defensive end right here. It's a little reminiscent of the first quarter, except there's a little bit more scoring, but the defense from HBCU definitely has to step up. Joe Jackson again with the ball. Jackson off to Lundy. Lundy off to Mohammed. Out of bounds. Alamo City All Stars. Media time time out. There you go. Nine point game, Mr. Williams. The Alamo City All Stars have the ball underneath their own basket. Nice inbound play. Good defense. That's what you need. I got the rebound. There you go. Lewis on the push. Oh, oh, oh. Bad shot. Bad shot. Rebound, HBCU. Alpo with the easy one. 
That's his game right there. That mid right there. Seven point game. But that kid likes to play offensively, Lundy. Tavion Lundy and Joe Jackson seem to be the key to that offense. Oh, way too, too easy. easy. Too easy. I think people need to remember that HBCU lost one of their big men in the first quarter. He hit his head on the floor. So it's, there's some uncontested layups that are going on. Yeah, there's. Yeah, we don't have a big uh, real protector at the moment, but in this ABA game, man, it's it's not the most important part of the game. You got to get stops on the perimeter, you know. Like I said, it's an up and down, guard driven game. That's why the scores are so high. Uh, look, honestly, that's too easy for Joe Jackson. It was a mismatch. It was a mismatch. Joe Jackson on Samson Shivers. Probably he's got a good six to eight inches on him and a yeah. good fifty pounds. Yeah, we, we probably don't want him trying to defend that big guy on the block. Yeah. I gave him the shot on that. Huh? Okay. Two shots again for Mr. Jackson. Fun. Got the first. Back to a 10 point game. Joe Jackson still at the line for one more. And Jackson hits the second. Go back to the press. Two and a half minutes left to go in the third. HBCU down by 11. Trap. Oh, somebody's wide open. Great move. Great pass. Good action. Easy layup. Movement's going to bring a little pressure here. Three on three. Everybody's getting back now. Hell is my shot right there. By Terrible shot. By Alamo City All-Stars. Oh. oh, now. Four on two. Taylor with the shot. That's good. Oh, thought that one was wow. going ahead. Looked good off the hand. Joe Jackson again. Nice pass. Oh, missed a wide open jam. Nice. Oh. Sometimes you try to get a little bit too fancy. Come on, man. Finish that. Just go up for the layup. Make the basket. And score the basket, huh? <laughs> Two point loss right there for HBCU. They should have had that. Big fella with the ball on the early block. Shot. Good, Good block defense. out by the movement. Great Good defense. defense. See, right now, that's what sucks about that two points a minute ago. Now, you would have a nine point game, maybe even Good seven pass. before. There you go. Good pass. Great pass by Taylor. You gotta have a stop right here. I think that full court pressure is starting to uh, kind of wear down this Alamo City team, man. Well, These guys look a little, you know, they look a little bit labored. Another foul on Joe Jackson. Man. Is this a shooting foul? Yes. Wow, Joe Jackson back to the line for two more shots. <laughs> Man, the ABA is different. <laughs> I've never seen that before, but I liked it. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> Being this close, the action's a little bit different. <laughs> yeah, two for two for Joe Jackson. Lead back up to 11. <laughs> that was pretty impressive. Uh, we'll call it accountability. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, look, man, I like it. I like it. Lewis working, Lewis working to the basket. And we got a foul. Lewis Jr. to the line for two. Shooting foul. I think that's Kenobi's third, if I'm not mistaken. I was going to ask, I don't know if there's anybody in foul trouble at the moment. Uh, no, there haven't been a lot of fouls called. I think there have been more fouls called in this third quarter than there have been in the entire first definitely, half. Definitely, definitely. 
Eight point game, 57 seconds left in the third quarter. HBCU down to Alamo City All Stars, the 12th ranked team in the nation. Trying to mount a comeback. You think they're going to have to make some threes in this fourth quarter to come back, or just defense? No, we got to get some defensive stops, man, and take better shot selection. Yeah. You know, much better shot selection in the second half. And to be honest, we, you know, we, we got to contain Jackson, man. He's, he's been yeah. going nuts in this third quarter. It's the Jackson and Lundy show for the Alamo City All Stars, for sure. Oh, yeah. They're just doing pick and rolls, pick and rolls, pick and rolls. And now, here's here. Lundy. Great shot. Good shot. Here's that full court, full court pressure. <laughs> nice basket, very nice basket. Open for a three, missed it. Alamo City All Stars basketball. Twelve the eight point game. Was taken at thirty six four should have been a two. That last one I hit should have been a two. So the taking. I'm curious here. You, you got a two point. We'll figure it out. It's either a seven or an eight point lead for the Alamo City All Stars. Set the game clock to thirteen seconds. Wait for my left hand to go down. Thirteen seconds left on the clock. Here we go. Lundy with the ball. Ten seconds. Taking it himself. What a shot, man. That kid. Looks like we're going to end the half on a 10 point lead. Nice inbound pass. Wide open, top of the key. Come on. Another bad shot. Bad shot there. Bad shot. Lundy with the ball. Joe Jackson trailing. Got to have a stop right here. Open shot, number 29. With the Woo! miss, good rebound. Wow, you gotta have that rebound, HBCU. Oh, got a miss. HBCU rebound on a fast break, fast break. And Lance on the tip. Eight point game. And here we go, stepping it up on the defensive end, movement on the defense, backing off. Kick out to Jackson to the corner. Uh oh. Off shot. Oh, he missed two in a row now. Good pass. All right, it's moving on the run. run. Movement on the run. 4 0 run. 4 0 run. Start the fourth quarter for HBCU. We got a game, folks. Hey. We got a game. You think I might be coaching on the microphone over here? You think, think they might have heard me? Yep, I do. <laughs> Joe Jackson, they're getting back to him. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> Lance with five fouls now on Joe Jackson. We had just talked about that. Fouls on the floor. Hey, Rodney, I'd rather him shoot the jumper than to get to the rock. Harmon's in. Lance is out. Six fouls in ABA uh, rules, so he's got one more before he's out, but he's on the bench, so probably about the five-minute mark he'll get back in there. Oh, nice pass inside. Bad D. Bad D by HBCU. Can't get lost on the defensive end. A block by Alamo City, gets him on the run, put him on skates. Oh, could not make a shot. They reset. Alamo City with the ball and the lead. Eight points. Trap on the defense. Good kick out to Jackson. Jackson. Way too easy. Layup. The defense is terrible right now, Joe. It's Eight just, point game. It's bad. Oh, sorry. Ten point game. They had it to six. Got back up to ten. 9.45 left in the fourth. Three-point shot. Oh. Three minutes. Three minutes. 
Well, Thomas, you got you can pretty much tell before the ball goes in almost every single time. <laughs> Act like you've been doing this for a minute. Yeah, for a little while, man. For a little while. Uh, like I said, with that, with this red, uh, that red, green, and black basketball, when it comes off the of hand, man, you can see it really well. Yeah, you, you can see the spin. Yeah. Oh, nice move. You got a three on four, or three go, on bro. two. Taylor, Let's with a three. Ah, awesome. Rebound, Alamo City. I feel like they're, they're shooting the ball a little too early right now. It's, it's not. We're playing like a team. Good block. Good block by Homer. HBCU on the run. Three on two, four on two. Another block by Alamo City. Wide open layup for Tooney on the other end. Too easy. You got four on two, you got to convert. And now, now the pressure. Wow. And an and one for HBCU. So a chance for a three point play. Well, all right, Redmond. It looked, <laughs> it was looking a little, a little hazy there for a minute, but uh, look, they can cut it within nine now. I, I mean, I thought that whistle may have been a timeout. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, there was a foul somewhere. All right. Here we go. Eight minutes, 36 seconds left for HBCU to crawl back into this game. Leading out nine. Good uh, shot. If we're going to get back work. into it, it's not going to be a crawl, man. We're going to have to run. Alamo City slowing the pace up a little bit. It's been frantic for the last four or five minutes to start this fourth quarter. Shooting foul on Harrison. Alamo City all starts to the line to shoot two. And again, by ABA standards, man, this has been a pretty low scoring ball game. Ninety to seventy nine. I believe you guys scored HBCU scored one thirty last game. Yes, sir, we did. In New Orleans and yeah. a win, one thirty one eleven. Yeah. 131 14. 131 14. All right. 79 89 right now on the, on the scoreboard. 10 point game. He missed the one. Bam! Great We're going to get back in this one. We need that. Pick and roll by Lundy and Jackson again. Lundy and Jackson. They're going to work it again. Jackson to the middle. Too easy. Oh, good block. Good, block. Oh, good, good weak side recovery. HBCU. Trying to cut the lead. A lot of contact. Good rebound by Alpo. <laughs> Got a five-point game now in the fourth quarter with HBCU going on a little mini run here. 5-0. 5-0 run it is in the last minute and a half. Seven minutes and 20 seconds left in this ball game. <laughs> Foul on the floor. I don't know what it was, but James Harrison <laughs> fouled a guy that was literally falling out of bounds. So here we go. <laughs> here we go. I'm resisting the temptation to bang my head against the table right now. So remember, remember, there's always makeup calls. All right. So the other end, refs, refs may get it right eventually. Five point game, 84 to 89, midway through. <laughs> Midway through the fourth quarter. <laughs> this is what you're used to, ABA standards. Yeah, this is what we're accustomed to up and down. A whole lot of getting up and down, fast pace, basketball, open shot. With the miss. Austin need that re uh, Oh, good hot spot. Yep. Another foul. Another foul on Corey Alpo mm. for HBCU shooting fouls. So, Austin, or uh, Alamo City All Stars will head to the line. I keep saying Austin. Austin <laughs> and San Antonio right next to each other. After this, uh, I think I may have to hang up yeah. the mic, Jeff. Huh? You, you uh, may think about uh, <laughs> taking in on some of that sacrament, huh? Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> uh, single, single Thomas Williams over here. <laughs> I'm have him a rough night. Wow. going to be a rough one. Huh? Happy Saturday. Happy Veterans Day to all you veterans out there. 
Absolutely, absolutely. This is the second end. It's a six-point game. Double team up top. Iowa City <sighs> throws it away. HBCU turnover. Which look, they they've limited the turnovers this fourth quarter, and they've been able to crawl back in the game. Yeah, both teams have cleaned it up in the second half, man. It started off. You know, some real sloppy basketball. So it's turning into a real good basketball game. Yeah, um, I, can, I can see two, three more quarters of this. Unfortunately, we only have six and a half left to go in this one. Another big shot by Alamo City. Come on. Come on. HBU, HBCU trying to get the ball through half court, or over half court, should I say. Yeah, like I said, man, Alamo City, they pressed the entire game, man. So they're not a big team, so that's how they make up for the lack of size. Harrison, deep. Off shot. Come on. I was one of the Steph Curry ones. Yeah. Another foul. Foul on James Harrison. Shooting foul. Nine I think that's his fourth. James Harrison, number four. Nicholas Lance has five. Now the, the fouls are starting to rack up now for HBCU. Yeah. Well, we're shooting ourselves in the foot. Every time we go on a run, we do something to break that momentum, man. If it's a foul or the a bad shot. The turnovers yeah. have been bad uh, all game. Yeah. There's been four or five of them that were ill-advised. And our shot selection has not been the greatest today. Mental mistakes. That's usually what kills any team, though. And, and, and on the flip side of that, Alamo City has actually been pretty sharp. The Joe Jackson, uh, Tavion Monday thing has, has worked great. For them. Yeah. Well, this is a, you know, it's a veteran team, man. That's why they're number 12 in the country. You know, you can definitely see why they are where they are in the rankings. Foul on Alamo City. HBCU goes to the line, shooting two. Number, uh, sorry, Shivers. Santa Shivers. Hey, hey. Come on, number two. Six. Six. Come on. Makes the first. Hey. Ten point lead with six minutes left in the ball game. Six oh two exactly on the clock. Cut you the table. Joe Jackson with right. the rebound. Alamo City working the pick and roll offense. All running off the top of the key. Over to the wing. Tried to thread the needle, couldn't get it in there. HBCU with the ball and a fast break. Ten point ball game. Shot up. Eight point ball game. Who plays that so well? Nice pull up jump. Seven point ball game. Score score had to be correct. 88 to 75. 88 oh. Another foul call on HBCU. Shooting foul again. To the line goes ACAS. Ooh. Joe Jackson again at the line. Shoot two. <laughs> yeah, he, he's made a living at that free throw line. He today, has. He's, he's been there. This might be his ninth and tenth attempt uh, this game. At least. Man, if I recall correctly, I don't think he's missed one. He missed one. He I, do, I do remember he missed he missed one. So he's he's made them count. And look, right now that's the difference in this ball game. Yeah. <laughs> HBCU ball after the miss by Joe Jackson. Way to go on the jinx. Looks like I called that. There you go, Thomas Williams. <laughs> we'll have you on the call during all the free throws. <laughs> That's that old field goal. He hasn't missed one all season. And there you go. <laughs> There's your bad 
We'll call that a makeup call. Yeah, that's the makeup call we were talking about. HBCU shoot too. Hey man, <laughs> nothing like consistency. Nothing like consistency. Uh, people asking for the re replay. <laughs> Maybe next season. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Shivers makes the first of two. They got one more makeup call to do, so we're all right. We're just out here trying to have some fun, man. <laughs> two for two on the free throws. Still a six point game, only five minutes to go in the fourth. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Here comes Lundy running the, uh, running the pick and roll with you know who. JJ. Right, so this oh, bad shot. Bad shot. Get the rebound. Get the rebound. HBCU off and run it. This is going in there. Right. Got to make that. Uh. 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 Jeff Jackson right with the rebound. All, Alamo City All-Stars holding the ball now, waiting to get reset. Six-point lead for them. Travel. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Look, we said they would, hey, we man. Said they would make it up at some point. <laughs> like I said, consistency matters. Consistent. Oh, steal. 3D. Wow, two steals. Alamo City All-Stars. <laughs> Stole it, lost it, got it back. Layup. That's three. That's three. Off Shivers top. off. Good job, Michael. One more point on that boy. That was 3D. That's one more point. Oh, 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 oh. 99 to 90. Three and a half left to go in the fourth. Alamo City could almost ice it here in the next minute. Lundy trying to go at him. Nice pass. Oh, travel. Oh. Almost a travel. Well, it was a travel. I think he might have packed the bag with that one. Timeout, Alamo City All Stars with a nine-point lead, three and a half left to go in the fourth. I think he was. Just, yeah, I think he was surprised he was that open, man. <laughs> Not exactly sure how many steps that was, but it was a lot. <laughs> that looked like one of those spirit flights. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That person's uh, not, not real. It's probably a better practice. I like it. I like it. Here we go. Sometimes, I don't know this. I see that thing lit up. It's 3D. And I trust him, right? We don't want them to come and tell you something. If you see one of us doing this, that's what makes them turn Yeah, you turn that thing on. makes it 3 I don't want somebody to tell you something wrong. You change the board and the crowd is rough. Because, bro, I'm big. Well, well, the, the, the crowd doesn't. The crowd don't know anything. <laughs> Coming out of the timeout, nine point game, three and a half left to go in this contest. Alamo City All Stars in the lead over HBCU. The movement. They got. They got. To, they got to outscore on three points a minute here. So. We're going to see what happens. Yeah, got to score and get stops, man. Got to score and get stops. You got the pressure. Here comes the pressure. HBC movement. Shivers with the ball. Pick and roll up top. Kick out. Drives the lane. Open jumper. Barely missed it. It seemed like an off shooting night tonight. Off shooting yeah. night tonight for the movement. Yeah, it's been real rough tonight on the shots. We have not shot the ball well at all. Turnover. Alpo with the good defense. <laughs> Alamo City head coach, not happy. Bad turnover. They're trying to ice this game. Turnover, turnover, turnover. <laughs> Here comes HBCU. Nice pass. Harrison driving in the lane. Good move. Man, the basket. Seven point game. Two and a half left. Got to have a big stop right here. Good team. This could be a turning point in the game. Yeah, I feel like if they score here, it could be over. Here's the trap. Wide open three. Off. Great rebound. Oh, good, good block. Good block by Alpo. Wow, they got the rebound after a great block. Just not enough people under the boards. That might have done it, folks. Two minutes left, nine-point ball game. HBCU movement coming down the floor. 
Cross court. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Turnover HBCU movement. Seven okay. seconds. We're Back in the three D right now. And that is a two pointer. That will be three with the three D rule. Oh, the three D was on. Yes, it was because that was a seven second violation. Gotcha. All right. Well, two pointer turns into a three pointer. That was 3D. Hey, that's a three pointer. We need one more point. Yeah, we got it. They'll get the rest of the other man. HBCU coming down the floor. 12 point ball game. Yeah. Nah. 10 point so ball game now. Correct score is 104 94. Hey, ref. Hey, coach. Coach. The ref's instructed him not to change anything. If they get it wrong, he has to change it. Minute and a half left. 10 point ball game. Alamo City All Stars up by 10. That's going to be 104. 104.94. There we go. Ball in. Pin down. Lundy, right down the middle. Bad shot. Oh, I could not get the rebound. HBCU, bad breaks today. Just some terrible ball bounces for them. Bad turnovers. Just right, still by out. shots. There hasn't been a lot of flow on our side of the game, offensively, defensively, anything. Just, just hasn't been a good day for us, but we're still in it. Yeah, and, and that's the thing, you know, 13th ranked. Oh, great! Good shot. shot. You're going up against the most 13th ranked team in the nation, and you're still in the ball game with all the with all the mistakes. <laughs> HBCU ball. Pick up. One minute left in the contest. 12-point hey, game. Alamo City All-Stars up by 12. Uh, we got to start letting them fly now. Yeah, you're going to definitely have to hit some threes. Threes and turnovers. Come on, no ring. Come on, no ring. Shoot the middle. Shoot the middle. Come on, no ring. Up the It's a three. Nine point ball game after a three by Everhart. Bring it, Joe! Bring it! Joe Jackson with the ball. Step up and trap! Step up and trap! Coach Coach Williams over here. <laughs> My partner. Good and shot. And a three pointer by Alvin. All Stars bouncing back up to 12. And that'll do it, folks. 30 seconds left. Foul called on Alamo City All Stars. That'll send him to the line for a one and one. Tripping. Oh, it's not a it's not a one and one. Thirty one seconds left to go. Twelve point game. Hey, pick up good defense, no foul. I think you guys know how Thomas Williams is. You know, so yeah, you're number a long way to go. You're number one for HBC movement. Game number three. I'm having a blast. Missed shot right there by the movement. Alamo City foul on who's that on? HBC Corey Alpo. Corey Alpo with the foul. Alamo City will go back to the line for two. HBCU movement making history today, though. First professional basketball team featuring athletes from historically black colleges and universities. That's amazing. So congratulations on that, Coach. Thank you. We'd much rather have the win. General manager. <laughs> sorry. Coach, general manager, uh, uh, announcer, uh, motivator. What else? Oh, single. Thomas Williams right here. Uh, right here, ladies and gentlemen. Nah. <laughs> Honestly, man, the thing I'm most proud of is being a father. I got my two young there sons you in here today, yes, you know, taking them on this entrepreneurial journey for me. With me, so that's the thing I'm most proud. As long as you're doing what you're happy, and you seem happy doing it. Of course, the game's not going the way you want it to, but look, I'm always happier when we win. Yeah, there's a steal. Joe Jackson. And here get comes a... the exclamation point. Technical foul. 
Technical foul on the Alamo City All-Stars for the slam at the end of the game. There's only seven seconds left. But that was a pretty pretty impressive value. Yeah. yeah we, we, we could just end it on that one. We yeah. don't need the technical yeah, Just let the, let the yeah, clock run out on that. Ruff's called a technical <laughs> foul for a little show-offing there. So, uh, showboating. Alamo City All-Stars are going to go on and win this one. <laughs> Hey, how many shots you give him? 17. <laughs> I'll tie it up. <laughs> and Shivers hits both technical free throws. And seven seconds hey, on the clock. Shot, no Looks no like foul. Alamo City's going to get out of here with a big road win. And that's going to do it. Three, two, one. Look. Tom, it's been a great, great game. Hey, we appreciate you coming out and spending this time with us, Joe. Alamo City All Stars take this 111 to 99. We'll see you next time, folks. Yeah, we survived it. Yeah. <laughs> That's a laugh. Had a good time, right? Hey, too bad. <laughs> Yes, sir. Oh.